Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is day 104 of my coding journey. Today I'll be diving into learning Mongoose.js. Yesterday I learned the basics about MongoDB. So far I'm really liking the back end. Definitely gonna try to create like a full stack project soon. I'm either gonna do that or add a back end to my current React project. Not sure yet, or I might just do both. So yeah, I just wanna get my bootcamp assignments completed today. If I got time, definitely gonna work on my weather app. So I paid this UI UX designer 1500 bucks yesterday uh, to create a wireframe for my weather app. And he said it took him four to five hours to do this. So I wanna show you guys, it's really professional and it looks nice. So um, yeah, so here it is. This is the design I think I'm gonna go with. <laughs> but um, so yeah, this is what I created at work. Uh, definitely like this design. I'm gonna try to do it, try to start styling this weather app either this weekend or next week. Tomorrow, I do wanna add some validation to it. So, you know, whenever you type in some gibberish or, you know, city that's not found, uh, instead of it loading, I want it to instantly show an error message saying no city found. And for the user experience, I want it to have the text up here in the left, uh, the upper left side and then have the current degrees and like big, like a big font size, high and low at the bottom of that. And then, you know, sunny or cloudy over here. And what I really want to do, I'm going to try it. I really want to, you know, if it's sunny, I want to have like a sunny background image or background video. Um, if it's cloudy, you know, have a some cloudy video or something like that. Like, I think that'd be really cool. I think I'm going to try to do that, uh, but I don't, uh, have an idea how to do it yet and then down here is a cool section that I want to add so it's gonna be like a little section um, like a little circle divider or like maybe like a wave divider like I've been adding uh, a little SVG either that or I don't know but just like a little divider and then it's gonna have like a carousel or a keyframe animation like how I did with my tailwind project to where you know it's just moving by itself like an infinite loop but I was actually just thinking about that. I don't think I'm gonna add the keyframe because I think it will ruin user experience. So like if you want to see, you know, Monday's uh, forecast, you gotta wait until the loop hits that spot. So I think the carousel will be better. So that way, you know, you could just scroll through it. Even though this is just a practice app and I'm pretty sure I'll probably be the only one using it. But um, I just, you know, I need to start thinking about that type of stuff. So I'm definitely gonna, probably go with the carousel you know you can just scroll through it and maybe have some like animations or something i don't know but uh so that's that so i'm hopefully i get the time to work on this this weekend and i start styling it this weekend tomorrow I most likely might add the validation and uh maybe fix it up a little bit tonight i don't know if i get the time but uh so yeah that's it for me today i'm about to do some bootcamp assignments and start learning about mongoose.js and i'll see you guys tomorrow <laughs> 